Today we shall see how to read XML file using jQuery Ajax method. As you know, using Ajax, we fetch data without actually reloading the web page. That is, fetching the data which is uh, whichever part of the web page is required, not the entire web page. So we shall write an XML file first. Take out the base tag and I'll write my own base tag which is which I call as corporate. Inside that I have a tag called employee inside which I write the information of each employee that is name, his age and the company name we could write information of multiple employee but for now let's fetch the information of a single user first later on i'll show you how to fetch multiple user entries from xml file also note the file structure here where i save xml file save this xml file along with the index page not inside the scriptlet script folder so this is how we write details of multiple multiple employees for now i'll just keep it simple let's start with jquery now i'll write a custom function and give it a name called corporate data inside this i'll write the ajax jquery ajax method dollar dot ajax which means it's a static method of jquery so please look at the syntax here within the parenthesis we write opening and closing brackets inside that url is a property colon we need to give value there are many properties in that i'll write take url data type and if the parsing of the url is successful we will execute this anonymous function we could even write error colon some function for now i'll keep it simple now i'll write the file name of our xml file for notes about error handling and function please visit technotip.com the data type is xml once the url is being parsed dollar dot ajax function throws an object called data sorry it throws an object i have taken it the name as data we could even take xml or something like that for now i'll take it as data which contains this xml information present inside corporate data i'll make sure ul has nothing inside it that is previous data should be removed before i append the new data so ul dot children dot remove now select the data dot find the data is this xml file inside that find employee tag dot each do this for each of the employees function anonymous function for each of the employee call this anonymous function inside that i'll take a variable called info and now i'll fetch the name from employee tag that is dollar this dot find find the name within employee look here within employee we have name age and company so within employee i'll find name dot the text inside the name 
so txt method as simple as this now repeat the same thing for age and name of the company find the age dot fetch the text inside that age tag similarly within employee tag find the tag called company find the tag called company and then fetch the text inside it close the list item tag now append this information to the ul tag in our html document now we haven't called this function yet we have just written the function so that doesn't make any difference inside this index.html and make sure xml doesn't load when you click from a file on the disk you need to open it from the server this the xml file and where you are fetching the file where you are fetching the xml file should be on the same server for some security reasons so now we shall write our regular jquery here once the document loads we call our function that is corporate data inside our document dot ready inside our anonymous function now refresh the xml file data has been fetched now we need to fetch the xml data whenever the xml file gets updated without refreshing index.php for that we have a method called set time out which takes two parameters first one being the function names and the second one being the time interval time interval after which the functions in the first parameter to be called I write a anonymous function here inside that I would call corporate data function so to update this after every one second after every thousand milliseconds I would write prefer to write it inside another function called fetch So now I would even call this fetch function inside itself for every thousand milliseconds. Once the document is loaded, I will call fetch function once. After that, the fetch function calls itself after every thousand milliseconds. So let's see how this works. Let us refresh our index file now once i update the xml file the index file has to update itself without refreshing after 1000 milliseconds now i'll change the data that is insert another person's information once i hit the save the countdown starts after 1000 milliseconds index.php file gets updated by itself without getting refreshed you have to wait well i had to give less here i'll make it 100 milliseconds after it fetches now okay it got fetched so can't wait up to 100 milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds so i'll make it 100 milliseconds so that the updates of corporate data.xml is interpreted immediately inside index page here so let's see now i'll take off this 
information once i hit the save button it should immediately reflect here which is working right now so look at the index page once i hit the save button on this page okay it's working completely fine now take off hit the save button it gets reflected on our web page this is how we fetch data from our xml file using ajax method of jquery please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc and please subscribe to our blog technotip.com and youtube channel and please like this on youtube